I could really say ditto, 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 ditto. <laughs> but this is what the Lord put on my heart uh, for the church uh, about mystery uh, regarding his church, about meaning and purpose. Also, about identity when it relates to revelation, inheritance, and also having a kingdom mindset. And last but not least, um, a heart beyond measure when it comes to love, when it comes to grace, and when it comes to truth. And this is what the Lord would say for this month. My church, no longer will you not understand your real purpose. For in the past, it's been a mystery to you. There have been times when others would even question what are you doing? What is this church for? And yet there was a hesitation. But I'm bringing light to that for this church that my son died for. The one that he shed his blood shall shine bright. It will shine in your hearts. It will shine in your lives. It will shine upon the countenance of your face. And it will give as a, it will be as a testimony to many others. It will bring about meaning. No longer will you be ignorant of the knowledge of who I am and what my purpose is for the church. For now, I will release knowledge to you this month that will cause you to elevate to another level. As you begin to grab my word and to look at it, it will begin to leap off the page. Those things that you've read over a hundred times, there will be a fresh and new revelation for that. Knowing that the purposes that I've called you for and to accomplish in life, you will not fail. Do not listen to the enemy, for I have bound him up. Know that your life is hid in Christ, in me, so that you would go forth and be that person that I've called you to be. And no longer will the voices of the past cause you to hesitate, cause you to just walk away or get discouraged about your purpose in life. For I am even silencing that as of now. And when the revelation comes to you, no longer will you sit still as before in the past, but I shall show you how it will bring application, how you will, how you will practice that word, how it will spring forth and cause growth in your life. Know that the inheritance that I have for you, yes, there is a financial inheritance, but there is an inheritance that I want to share with you that is beyond sometimes our understanding. There is a love, there is a grace, there is a glory that I want to release to your hearts. This is something that you cannot study for. Many times we have prayed, we have asked over and over again, and we would question, God, when is it going to come true? When will I feel your presence in a way like I've never felt it before? Know this month that I am entering into the closet where you are, and I'm going to draw it out of you, and it will shine and fall upon you. And when it does, your family shall change. You will not be the same, for I'm calling you out from where you are that you would accomplish great things. Know that my love is for you, and I am changing your mindset. Before in the past, we were stuck, but there's a new level. There's a shift that is coming to you, and I'm raising you up to another level. Therefore, when you begin to look at things in the same way, that will not work because I'm giving you that revelation revelation that you will have a different mindset so when the enemy comes against you you will stand and you will speak forth my word and it will accomplish the things that it said it would do and it shall bring confidence to your life it shall bring restoration know that I am with you and I walk with you every moment of the day when you sleep I cover you and when you awaken, I release my mercies. And as you begin to go about your day, when you invite me in, it'll never be the same. 
I am taking your heart beyond measures. I am releasing my love. So when the enemy comes against you, you'll speak forth my love and it will literally melt the circumstances and situations that you are facing. Know that I have loved you from the beginning. And even in the times when you struggle, when you were going through your, your failures, your, your temptations and your tests, that I was there refining you for a purpose. I was pruning things, taking things off of you so that I could put something within you that you've never had before. And it shall be like a drink offering, and it will be poured out, and it will touch the hearts and lives of those at home, at your work, where you socialize everywhere that you go. Prepare yourself in drawing close to me, that you may experience the greatness of my love. There will be a grace where you have thought that you were walking in your own ability, which is an inability. Because when you allow me to come in, I will begin to work on your behalf. And where you were strong, I will strengthen more. And where you are weak, I'll be there to hold you up. I've seen every tear. I've heard every cry. And I am drawing you closer into me, that I may hold you close in my arms. And you have wanted to come closer this month. No, as you become before me, and you begin to open up your heart and speak to me, I will release the wisdom. I will release the grace, the anointing that you need for your lives. There will be a truth that will proceed out of your mouth. As you begin to open up your mouth and speak forth my word in those circumstances that you come against, it will begin to dismantle those things that are trying to dis tear apart your lives. Know, my children, that I love you, that I've given you many things, and yet, this month, I am going to release more. Yes. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. Well, let's stand and make some declarations. We declare, we declare. I, will I will not walk in fear. Walk in fear. We, declare we declare that I will seek you, Lord, I will seek you, Lord. with my whole heart. We declare, we declare that nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be we declare, we declare Jesus, Jesus, I will make your name known. Your grace, your truth to others around me. I declare, I declare that this night, that this night change, comes. change comes. Amen.